Ever wondered what happens to ships at the end of their sea journeys? Today, we dive into the intriguing world of ship scrapping, exploring the factors that determine when and how ships meet their end. As ships age, typically between 20 to 32 years, various factors come into play, from vessel types to market conditions and scrapyards demands. This is where they start their final journey to a ship graveyard. According to UNCTAD data, the top three ship scrapping countries by tonnage are Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. But how these mega ships are actually scrapped? Let's understand different methods used to dismantle and scrap seagoing ships. As ships become unserviceable, they're sold based on lightweight tonnage and key factors like length, breadth, depth, and composition. 95% of a ship's body is made of mild steel. Our first stop is dry docking, which is popularly used for ship repair. Here, a ship sails into a dock, the water is pumped out, and workers meticulously dismantle the vessel. However, this method is sparingly used for scrapping a ship due to its high costs, and they are mainly seen in certain parts of Europe. Moving on to pier breaking or alongside method. Ships are secured along a wharf where cranes carefully remove pieces until the vessel is either lifted or sent to a dry dock for final cutting. Common practices are found in regions like China, Europe, and the US. Next, we have a landing or slipway. Ships are sailed against the shore or a concrete slipway. Onshore or barge-based cranes dismantle the vessel often utilizing temporary quays or jetties. This method is quite common in places like Turkey. And finally, the beaching method, which is the most common method used for ship scrapping. Ships are steamed onto a tidal beach, allowing workers direct access for cutting. This approach is prevalent in countries like Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. Before beaching, the ship is lightened to reduce its draft, ensuring it can safely navigate shallow waters. This is often achieved by removing heavy items, such as cargo and fuel, making the vessel more buoyant. Once at the desired location, the ship is anchored and secured to prevent it from drifting or tilting during the dismantling process. This step is crucial for the safety of both the workers and the vessel itself. This is where the intricate process of dismantling begins, starting from the top and working its way down through the ship's structure. Specialized equipment, including cutting torches and heavy machinery, is used to dismantle the ship systematically. Workers carefully cut through the hull and superstructure, separating the ship into manageable sections for recycling. Have you ever been involved in a ship scrapping operation? Let us know in the comments. Subscribe to Marine Insight and press the bell icon for more insights into maritime practices.